Alright, good morning po sa inyo pong lahat. Good morning sa ating mga live viewers and welcome once again sa ating pong live teaching only here at Felixians TV and on, of course our uh, official Facebook page, ang ating uh, DepEd tayo, Francisco P. Felix Memorial National High School. Hello Sir Rick, good morning sa iyo. Good morning Sir. Hello, sir. Uh, good morning, uh, Good morning, sa ating mga live viewers, especially sa ating mga grade eight students and outsiders, um, yung mga parents and uh, yung mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Magandang magandang magbago po sa inyong lahat. Yes, ayan. Good morning, ano? And now we are, we have 79 live viewers sa ating, uh, sa ating Facebook page. And we also have our live viewers ang wala pa dito sa ating YouTube right now kasi we're having some uh, technical difficulties kanina kaya hindi natin kagad uh, uh, na-play doon sa ating YouTube channel. Anyways, we have 82 right now sa ating uh, Facebook page and uh, ayan, they were, uh, nakikita mo ba sir kung ano-ano ng mga sections yung nandyan sa ating um, Facebook Live right now. Yes, sir. Nandito si uh, Lance Kabotahe from Grade 8 Champaka. We also have um, Sure Shure. Hindi ko alam kung anong basa rito, sir. Uh -huh. Kung Shure, Shure Oseyo from Grade 8 Aster. So we have a lot of viewers right now from Azalea as well and Atrium. Ayan. Oh, sorry. Uh, Aturi Aturium. Anturium, ah, yes, ayan. So we have from uh, Grade 8 Anturium. We also have here from uh, Grade 8 Adelpha, ayan, uh, Grade 8 Aster. And uh, of course, kanina binanggit na ni Sir yung Grade 8 Azalea, ayan. And yung ating mga, mga kasamahang guru din ay nanonood right now. And uh, good morning sa inyo pong lahat. Magandang magandang umaga. And I believe that Sir Rick is our new... Um, everyone, I invite everyone to please welcome our new science teacher here, Sir Rick. Ayan. Good morning, Sir. Ayan po. Uh, let's give him a, a virtual clap. Ayan. Sa ating uh, bagong kasamang guro dito sa ating uh, paaralan of Felixians or Francisco P. Felix Memorial National High School. Yes, sir. Maraming maraming salamat, sir, sa isang uh, warm welcome. No? At pinapangako na pagbubutiin ko sa pagtuturo sa ating mga bakari. No? Ayan. Ayan, talaga namang uh, you are very welcome here on our uh, on our Felixians family at kasama ka namin ngayon. Alright, so uh, siguro uh, umpisahan na natin yung ating live teaching ngayong araw na ito. Kanina, we had um, the live teaching from grade 7 and today tayo naman ngayon ay uh, magkakaroon ng live teaching for the grade 8 uh, grade 8 learners ayan kaya yung ating mga grade 8 learners kanina shout out sa inyo for for our 100 ayan ano dumadami na dumadami na yung ating mga grade 8 uh, students na nanonood ngayong umagang ito sa ating uh, live teaching tama ba sir Rick Ma, sir, uh, medyo nakakabat. Marami sila pero kakayanin. <laughs> yes, of course. Kayang-kaya. Kayang-kaya. And I, I know na talagang uh, yung ating mga live teachers dito ay uh, magagaling at uh, talaga namang uh, they could share yung mga learnings na ito sa ating mga mag-aaral. Okay? Shall we begin, Ma, sir? sir, our, uh, our um, lesson for today? Ready now, sir? Let's go. All right. All right. Um, again, um, welcome to all our grade 8 students. And today, um, we're going to be tackling uh, grade 8 science, which um, will be about earthquake. So stay tuned, and I hope you will learn something today. Um, una sa lahat, again, uh, muli binabati ko kayo. Isang napakagandang umaga sa lahat. At sana magandang gising nyo, masarap ang tulog, masarap ang almasal. Sana ready lahat at handa kayo para makinig sa ating lesson for today. Okay? At bago tayo magsimula o bago natin tunguhin yung ating lesson, tayo po muna ay pumunta or 
pagbalikan ng ating mga pinag-aralan nung tayo ay grade 7. Sir, ikaw ba? Meron ka bang naalala na tinuruan or nagturo ka ba sa grade 7 nung nakaraang taon, sir? Ah, nung nakaraang taon, ako ay hindi nakapagturo sa grade 7. Pero, um, ako ay last year kasi sa grade 8, ano, talaga yung aking uh, art. Pero kanina, yung lesson kanina, ano, napakaganda nung lesson nila about the, uh, about microscope, ano. Everyone is very interested talaga when when it comes to the microscope. That's one of the interesting uh, topic. Um, and of course, siyempre, hindi natin na, uh, hindi natin magagawa yung yung actual demonstration nun. Pero ganda sana talaga yun if we have the actual demonstration. But, Anyway, uh, we have this kind of program, uh, yung ating uh, Project Live, to interact with our learners. Kaya nga yung mga learners natin this morning, pwede bang magbigay kayo, mag-heart kayo, ma- uh, just uh, press the heart button right now, heart free up, sa ating mga mga learners ngayon. Please, ayan, yung mga nag-heart free up, ibig sabihin, they were active. Ayan, so yung mga learners natin nag-heart free up. Good morning sa inyo. Ayan. So we have live 110 viewers. Ayan, ang mga learners namin from the grade. Go ahead, sir. Ayun, uh, maraming maraming salamat, sir. Sir, uh, ngayon ay tumungo tayo sa ating last one. Pero bago yun, uh, sabi ko nga mag-review tayo or magbalik tayo tayo sa ating mga napag-aralan. Itong nakaraang taon. Okay. So we have your... Let's have a short review and I'll be showing you here a picture. So, meron bang nakakaalala or meron bang uh, meron ba kayong naaalala tuwing nakikita yung ito, itong litrato na ito? So, Ayan, can you write bang? it on your uh, your our comment section? Isulat ninyo. Ano sa palagay ninyo ang larawan na ito, naaalala nyo when you look at this picture? On our screen, can you write it on our? Uh, okay, we have here uh, the first who answered here, Ritzwell K. Baloran. Ayan. So we have uh, she. She answered Pacific Ring of Fire. Ayan. So uh, meron pa ba na mga iba? Ayan. Madalas pong lumindol sabi ni Glisel and Regino Villanueva. Ano? An sabi niya madalas lumindol. Ryan Carlo de la Cruz also says Pacific Ring of Fire as well as JM Narvaez ayan yung kanyang mga sa- ang kanilang sagot uh, we also have Pauline uh, Polycarpio ayan so ito si sir uh, are you seeing your screen right now uh, yes, sir. meron pa tayo diyan uh, iba nandito si Resty Vargas sabi niya volcanoes um, sabi naman ni Ryan Carlo de la Cruz Madaming pagsabog ng vulkan kaya nagko-post tang didol. So, napakaganda ng mga insights sila, sir, no? Um, yes. halatang meron silang matutunan itong nakaraang nakaraang taon. At tama nga ang nasabi nila na itong litrato na ito or this picture represents the Pacific Ring of Fire. So, what is or ano ba yung meron sa Pacific Ring of Fire? So, ating tingnan. Okay. According to National Geographic, um, the Ring of Fire is a string of volcanoes and sites of seismic activity or earthquakes around the edges of the Pacific Ocean. Roughly 90% of all earthquakes earthquakes occur along the Ring of Fire, and the ring is dotted with 75% of all active volcanoes on Earth. So, sinasabi rito ni ni National Geographic, which is also factual and based on science na ang Pacific Ring of Fire ay tama nga namang um, madalas na nagkakaroon ng earthquakes at pinumungaran o nandito yung karan- uh, vulkan na active sa sa buong mundo. Ikaw ba Sir Sam, meron ka bang masasabi tungkol dito? Yes, of course. Uh, Pacific Ring of Fire talaga naman na uh... Yan ay in some ano, in some point ay nakakatakot ano that that we are located on that uh, specific portion of the world that we are part of the Pacific of Pacific Ring of Fire but um, in my lifetime of course in our lifetime ay hindi pa natin masyadong 
nararanasan yung uh, devastating situation but uh, we know that it has it has some uh, danger na ma-encounter tayo when we have where we are knowing that we are located in uh, the Pacific Ring of Fire. Master Sam, so yun niya, um, we are located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Pero, ano kaya yung kinalaman ng Pacific Ring of Fire sa ating lesson for today? And ano kaya yung what is the implication of this for Philippines being located in the Pacific Ring of Fire? What is the implication? Ano kaya sa tingin niyo mga bata? or mga students natin. Pwede bang paki-comment down below sa ating Facebook Live or sa ating comment section para sa ating YouTube. I-comment ninyo, isulat ninyo, what, what could be the implication? Ano, what is the implication? Write it on our comment section and we're going to read your answers. Ayan. So, isa-isahin natin. Sabi rito, Sir T. Angelica de la Cruz, sa kas kasalukuyang pinatayang Limang daan at apat na po ang pumutok na vulkan at 75% sa mga ito ay nasa Pacific Ring of Fire. So, napakagandang sagot doon. Ano nga ba ang implication kung ang Pilipinas o ang Pilipinas ay lo located sa Pacific Ring of Fire? At ano ba ang kambal ng isang um, pagputok ng vulkan? Sabi naman dito ni Victoria Bryan, in Japan po, almost every day, the experience earthquake due to many volcano around the country. So, together with Japan, we are all located in the Pacific Ring of Fire. So, um, the implication is that um, because we are located here in the Pacific Ring of Fire, we have a lot of um, seismic activities together with the um, volcanic activities which causes us earthquake and that will be our topic for today okay All and right. before we proceed yes sir at bago nga tayo tumungo sa ating lesson for today atin muna tignan ano ba yung mga kailangan natin uh, mapag-aralan or uh, matutunan sa araw na ito and for our today's objective Sir Sam, can you help me out with this one? At the end of the session, uh, the uh, students should be able to, number one, is define what is fault and earthquakes. How about the second, second one, sir? And the second one is describe the relationship between faults and earthquakes and lastly identify the different types of faults okay sir and let's go now but before we proceed to our topic let's have a short game um uh, excited ka ba sir na makita ang mga sagot ng ating mga bata dito sa ating pinamagatang arrange me game so the instruction is simple all you need to do is to arrange the jumbled letters to form the word suitable for the definition so um una ang gagawin nyo ay sumagot lamang or mag-comment kayo dito sa ating facebook live at susubukan namin basahin ang inyong mga sagot gayon din sa mga nasa youtube or youtube um you can comment there what is your answer and um, let's see kung masasigutan nyo ang ating or ang munting laro na, na ginawa namin para sa inyo. Okay? Okay, so, so let's have... natin ang ating mga learners to answer. Once you uh, show, papakita ni Sir Rick ang, uh, ang ating questions on jumbled word letters and then you're going to write your answers on our comment section. Go ahead, Sir. Let's have our first one. So, ang nababasa ko dito, sir, is parang spatula. So, this one is a fracture or zone of, or of fractures between two blocks of rock. So, ano ba yung sagot dito? Hintayin natin yung mga bata na sagot, sir, sa Tingnan natin kung merong mga mga answers from our learners here. Tingnan natin, ayan, we have already... From uh, Vian Eros. Vian Eros, fault. Uh, he answered fault. Who else? Sabi pa niya rito ni Mark 
Anthony Villa Villa uh, Mira Lester Jun Miller Mil Mira Lest uh, Junior sabi niya fault Akira Mopal Suda at sabi niya rin ay fault ayan so and then lahat ay ang sagot nila sir ay fault ayan is that correct sir Tama sir, ang tamang sagot ay fault. Mukhang napakadali ng tanong na yan para sa mga bata. Okay, ang susunod nating tanong ngayon ito, handa na ba kayo? Let's go for a second. What? Okay. Ayan, isulat na lang ang mga sagot sa ating comment section. Right now, isulat na natin for our graded learners. Hirap, no, sir? Ayun, we have the first one who answered, Richel K. Bolaran. Uh, ang sabi niya ay Earthquake. Sino pa dyan, sir, na nakikita mo? Na Ganun din kay June Asher, Mikhail Wills, sabi niya rin ay Earthquake. Um, kay Pauline, kay Lance, kay Mark, um, kay Aquiles, they all answered Earthquake. So, ganoon din ang representative ng grade 8 Aster, no? Na si Elijah, ang sigit niya rin ay Earthquake. Na? Tama nga naman. Ang sagot ay Earthquake. So, napakadali, no? Um, napakagaling. Let's na. Learners, ano? Ang bilis magsagot. Ang bilis nilang mag... Oo, uh, asap. Uh, bilis nilang mag... Tune in ng kanilang mag... Turn in ng kanilang mga sagot dito sa ating... Live comments right now. Ayan. So let's have the answer. Yun tatak ng ano, no? Okay, let's go. For the third one, let's have here. Um, ano kaya ito? Sabi rito, it is a force that resists the sliding or rolling of one solid object over another. And if I may remember, this is their topic last quarter. So dapat madali lang to sa kanila. Sir, no? Meron na agad ako nakita? Ayan, meron. Sinong nakita mo, sir? May nagsagot dito. Ayan, ang sagot niya ay... Ang sagot niya ay friction. Ayan, ni... Ni uh, Richwell. Ayan, bilis si Richwell magsagot. Si... You... You shell, Andrea, fraction. May iba mga fraction, ano? May A ba tayo dyan, sir? <laughs> Ayan, ano? Wala ka nakita. Ayan, sir, tignan pa natin kung sino pa mga may tamang sagot dyan sa ating, ano, sa ating screen right now. Okay, we have also here Abigail and si June together with Mary. Um, si Meryl, medyo lag siguro, ano? Um, check mo meron kung nakalive ka ang sagot niya ay earthquake pa rin um, pero dun sa mga ibang estudyante uh, nakikita natin dito na most of them answered um, friction, si Ryan niya ay hindi pa sigurado sa kanyang sagot ang sagot niya ay friction so, pero maramihin sa kanila tama ang sagot which is friction very good mga learners mag magaling ang, ang ating mga learners from grade 8 Level. Let's have the fourth one, sir. Is it is it the fourth one na yung susunod? Ah, hindi ba? That's that will be the last one. Okay. Apa? Yung last one. Okay. So since nya um nahiti nyo na or um you were able to answer all the activities or all the um items that we presented to you, let's now proceed for our today's topic. And for our today's topic, tama kayo. Our topic will be about earthquake. So, sir, um, pag sinabi bang earthquake, what comes into your mind? Or uh, ano yung agad na naiisip mo pag sinabi ng earthquake? Uh, for me, if when we say earthquake, uh, sometimes ano, eh, it's not what comes to my mind, but it's what, ka, what I felt, ano, yung aking nararamdaman. Uh, in, in a sort, uh, in, in some way, natatakot ako kapag... Uh, naririnig ko yung salitang yan. Alright? So, tanungin natin yung ating mga learners, ano? What comes to your mind? When or what do you feel? When, uh, when you uh, heard the word earthquake or earthquakes. Sige nga, tignan natin. Ang ating, ano? Ang ating, uh, ito si Richwell talaga, ano? Mabilis talaga siyang mag-sagot. Uh, Ang sabi ni Richwell, I, the ground is like shaking. 
Anne. So we have also Angelica de la Cruz says that a sudden violent uh, shaking of the uh, shaking of the ground, you know, uh, and sometimes causing great destructions as a result of movement, which is Earth's crust or volcanic action. Wow, galing ano para talang identify niya na ano. So we have here Charles uh, Cedric Adwerman. Uh, sabi niya ground shaking ayan. So highly si highly Haley Nicole sabi niya disaster. Ayan. So we have also Charles sabi niya ground shaking. Si Glisel Ann sabi niya takot po ako ayan at nangangamba pangamba yun ang sabi niya. All right? So sudden movement of trembling of earth, tectonic plate sabi ni Altea and uh, sabi ayo ka good morning <laughs> ago good morning pala ni ano ni Jovain ano yung mga bagong dating sa atin okay lang yan sige uh, just continue joining us here on our live teaching and sabi ni Yula May and sabi niya intense shaking ayan so talagang uh, uh, merong ano merong word na intense ayan So, yun yung mga sagot nila, sir. Meron ka pa pa nakikita na mga sagot ng ating mga learners? Uh, most of them answered shaking of the ground. No? Uh, uh, meron silang common denominator. It's either intense or shaking. So, yun yung nakikita nating sagot nila. No? And that is correct. And yun nga yung meron ako nakikita ng sagot dito. Ang sagot niya ay um, pangamba daw. Um, kakambal ng earth. I feel fear, the ground is shaking and um, splitting. So, it seems like most of them experience this um, event or phenomenon, which is um, the earthquake. So, since meron na nga silang naging sagot sir kanina, no? na they feel fear, merong um, tangamba, um, it is scary, sabi ni Ren Leonard um, Rodriguez. Um, yun yung mga nararamdaman nila, no? yun yung uh, pangamba nila na maranasan itong earthquake. And it looks like they've experienced this one. Sir, how about you, sir? Um, what was the intense or how intense was the earthquake that you experienced? How, ayan, how intense, ano? Um, siguro I will rate up to uh, the highest is 10 and the lowest is 1. I will say that five, uh, based on my experience, no, uh, of an earthquake. Um, how about you, sir? Uh, I know you have experienced already an earthquake, and how you will uh, rate its uh, or on the rate of one to ten, the highest is ten and the lowest is one. Um, how you will uh, rate it for you, sir? For me, around. See, most of the time, your earthquake na, um, here in Rizal or here in the Philippines, uh, most of my experience happened at night. So I'm not that um, awake. You know? and, um, that's why it is five. Um, I experienced once when I was in school, um, teaching in, uh, in a private school. So, uh, may just light lang siya or light lang siya. Even though it is light, um, we fear that they might be after siya. Kaya pinangwiring yung mga bata. But for me, it is five. How about our learners? Um, Tanungin natin sila kung ano naman yung kanilang uh, rate doon sa kanilang experience ng, ng earthquake. Paano nyo siya i-rate? Yan, uh, what's the highest? Uh, the, uh, from the highest... 10 and the lowest is 1. Pa, paano nyo naman siya i-rate? Can you write it on our chat box kung ano ang inyong rate? Sige, go ahead. Can you uh, write it on our chat box right now? Sir, meron agad itong sigot, no? Si Ritz Fedulet. Um, yes po, sir. I experienced it while we were studying at school. Sabi niya. Sabi naman dito ni Angelica, it's 2 over 10. So, medyo light lang yung experience niya, no? Um, but we are, we were not, or we are not taking earthquake lightly. It's just that we experience this um, less intensity. How about you, sir? Meron ka ba nakikita dyan? Ayan, so we have Christian Joel. Ayan, ang sabi ni Christian ay, uh, ang sagot niya ay 3 up out of 10. Ayan, and so we have Mark Jamiel, 5, up, uh, 5 out of 10. We have Valerie Nicole B. Sabi niya ay 2 out of 10. Siguro yung mga experiences nila ay mahihina lang. Ano? 
So, uh, yung si Jairis Ibarra, sabi niya, 5 out of 10. And, um, yung iba naman ay 1, yung iba 3. Ayan, so we have Aurel Jeffrey, ang sabi niya, 6 out of 10. Ito, or ito si Glizel Ann Rimeo, ang sabi niya ay 8, 8 out of 10. Ako, no? ang lakas siguro nung na-experience niya na, na Lindol. Kaya, na-rate niya uh, na 8 ang ang experience niya sa earthquake. Yes, sir. And um, again, learners, thank you for your comments and thank you for your participation about this question. It seems like every one of us experienced earthquakes and it only varies on the intensity. Siguro yung iba, while um, they experience this earthquake, nasa ibang lugar sila, and somewhat or most of the students here, we have... Uh, Three or lower than five. So, siguro ito yung mga taga-Rizal, no? Na hindi halos maalis ng Rizal and they experience the same earthquake. So, ayun. Uh, okay. Yes, ayan. Siguro uh, some of them already experience yung uh, sa area nila, yung malapit dun talaga sa sa epicenter, o yung tinatawag natin na origin of the earthquake. Apo, sir. And yun na nga, um, since we are talking about earthquake, let's now proceed with our lesson for today. O yung, ano yung dapat nating um, malaman or maintindihan tungkol sa earthquake na ito. So, to begin with, um, what is an earthquake? An earthquake is caused by a sudden slip of a fault. The tectonic plates are always slowly moving, but they get stopped at their edges due to um, friction. So, so um, with this definition, our tectonic plates right now are constantly moving, um, centimeter or um, little by little lang. So, hindi natin siya pansin. And what happens is that if that tectonic plates or yung plates na tinutungtungan or yung pinakatayuan ng Pilipinas, which is also what we call the Philippine plate, um, continuously it is moving towards the Eurasia. Okay, and as it moves little by little, um, nagbabanggaan yung ibang plates and kapag nagbanggaan yung mga plates na yun or yung plates na yun na, na, na magkatungma, what happens is that um, continuously they move, iba-iba um, yung movement nila. And kapag yung movement na yun um, ay um, hindi na-sustain ng friction, suddenly it will um, slip. And yung slip na yun, yun yung magkakos ng force. Ayan, so... Uh... Alright, so nagkaroon tayo ng konting interruption right now, sir. Ayan, pero okay, ayun. So th that's correct. Ano, we have uh, those uh, slip uh, on the on the fault are the main, uh, the area wherein mainly uh, the earthquake were happening. Ano? So, uh, alright, sir, go ahead. So, yun niya. Um, thank you for that insight, sir. Um, looks like we are back. Yes. Okay. And where do earthquakes occur? So, earthquake occurs along faults. So, ito yung mga um, faults or ito yung tinutungtungan ng ating uh, Earth's um, surface. Um, dito, yung fault, ito yung mga um, slip or ito yung pagitan ng mga um, tectonic plates natin. And they are the one that causes the, the earthquake. And tinutukoy natin yung, yung lakas or yung intensity niya depende kung saan nag-occur yung mismong earthquake. Are we still live, sir? Yes, uh, yes, we're still live. Ay, tignan natin kung yung ating mga learners ay nandiyan pa. We have 100, uh, 111 viewers. Ano? I'm, uh, 
I'm having some difficulties lang on the technical kasi while we're doing this live teaching, I'm I'm the one who's doing the technical uh, uh, work here uh, behind the scenes. Ano? Kaya um, there are times that we ha we're losing our audio uh, that's due to our, ano, our uh, maybe it's because of our loads nung ating uh, mga ginagamit right now. Ano? Uh, Ayan. So, we're still live and we have ano yung ating mga learners here kindly show your heart. Ayan, mag-heart naman kayo doon sa ating mga live viewers right now. Ayan. And um ayan, ang dami pa rin na nanonood sa atin. We have 116 viewers sa ating mga grade 8 learners. Ayan. And uh pwede nating silang tanungin ano um yung ating mga learners uh view experience sa uh, earthquake on your area yung mismo sa area nila kasi where do earthquake occur ano so sino rito yung mga taga Marikina ayan so kasi we have uh, it says that the earthquake occurs along fault we have where we have known fault lines there in Marikina the West Valley fault line and we also have uh, we also have uh, different uh, fault lines along uh, uh, sou southern areas like in in Cavite in, in Laguna so if you live uh, nearby the area of course um, as as we have said as we have mentioned ay doon madalas mangyari yung mga earthquake uh, sir um, this or the, uh, places where faults are located um, or the places where earthquakes um, often occurs. No? But it can happen anywhere at any time. Um, kasi nga, um, masyadong malaki yung earth surface. No? Even though we were able to grab them out, locating the faults, there might be some faults that um, faults can occur or sudden sleep of faults um, can occur anytime or um, anywhere. So, yun yung mga possible scenarios. But, um, considering this factual or fact, um, most of the earthquakes occur along the fault line. So, karamihan niya ay nag-occur dito or nag-occur occur dito sa fault line natin. So, what is... Yun nga, sir. <laughs> Medyo nabubul tayo dun, But, let's proceed. Um, what is a fault? So, a a fault is a fractures or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock and faults allow the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement may occur rapidly in the form of an earthquake or may occur slowly in the form of creep. So sabi rito, faults um, or the movement of faults, the one that causes the earthquake, can um, move rapidly at the sudden movement or ito yung intense earthquake na nararamdaman natin. And um, yung fault naman, pwede rin siyang mag-move or mag-move slowly. Yun yung sinasabog natin creep na parang gumagapang ng paunti-unti or yung ti-unti yung pag -usad. Because right now, earth is like an eggshell, no sir? Um, bali yung egg na basag. So suddenly, it is moving. Pag nabasag kasi yung itlog, no sir, parang meron siyang ano, no? Um, part doon, kung crack yung mga cracks na yun. And kapag ka medyo basa nga yung pagkakaluto ng hard boiled egg, no, uh, pwede mo siyang maibook yung mga cracks na yun. So that is what is happening right now on our earth surface. Yung mga cracks na yun are suddenly or slowly, so slowly moving. So yun yung nangyayari. But then, some of the faults like he stop kasha or it slip suddenly that causes that tremendous or that intense earthquake. So again, um, the pulse or how do pulse produces quakes? Um, it nga yung energy from Earth's interior makes the ground move and friction holds hold the rocks together. So it's like this. Um, since na pag-usapan na nga natin yung itlog, kapag na, sino lang bang ikaw ba sir, mahili ka ba sa hard-boiled egg? Honestly, 
hindi ako mahilig doon ano <laughs> sa ano sa hard boiled egg sa halip I rather ano uh, choose uh, yung uh, sunny side up uh, way of cooking um but uh, I'm very familiar because uh, some of members of our family really love uh, eating the hard boiled egg so since Siguro naman, meron mga bata or mga learners natin. Alam mo naman din yung composition ng egg, no? So, bali yung egg na yun, um, for example, a, a hard-boiled egg, um, yung hard-boiled egg, uh, yung pinaka-middle niya, uh, kunyari lang, um, yun yung pinaka-core ng bird natin. Also, we have yung white part, which is also the um, interior. And yung exterior natin is yung mismong um, shell niya. So, slowly, um, or unti-unti, gumagalaw yung interior ng earth. Not the egg, no? Because it is hard-boiled, hindi na siya gumagalaw. Pero kung yung earth na pag-uusapan natin, it is slowly moving. Kasi it is liquid, uh, solid liquid part, or uh, uh, liquefied yung pinakaloob niya. It's solid na liquid. It's, it's, it's in the middle. So, it is slowly moving like the lava. So, gumagalaw yun, umaandar yun, unti-unti, um, nag-move yun. And it is the reason why the earth's, um, yung crust natin, or yung interior, na, or yung exterior natin, which is the surface of the earth, yun, um, unti-unti rin siyang um, gumagalaw. And then, in the movement of those um, um, exterior, or yung surface, what happens is that, merong nagtataka dun sa mga surfaces na yun. And then, as they move, some somehow, or yung iba, as they move, for example, these are the two surfaces, what happens is that as they move, okay, yung iba, umiibabaw, yung iba, pumupunta sa ilalim. Okay. And then, yung paggalaw na yun, suddenly, kapag ka biglang nag-snap or nag-slip, yun yung magkakaroon ng paggalaw dun sa mismong surfaces natin which is what we are uh, seeing right now on our slide. So itong paggalaw na to, okay, this is caused by an earthquake. So ang dulot or nagdulot niyan is yung interior natin that is um, slowly moving and na-overcome niya kasi sir yung friction. Okay sir. Ayan, correct, tama, ano, uh, very well uh, explained, ano, uh, then dinemo pa ni sir how uh, those um, movement or uh, movement of the ground uh, causes the uh, earthquake, ano, uh, and that uh, causes uh, the ground to move. Ayan, kaya nga, um, yung ating uh, mga pagpa-plan of building structures, ay pinag-aaralan yan kung dapat ba tayong magtayo ng mga structures along the fault line. Kasi kung hindi tayo, um, di natin alam, we're not aware that we are uh, cre or building our homes at the top of the fault line, um, as it is mentioned kanina, eh, anytime ay po pwedeng itong mag-move because of uh, the uh, pressure under the earth's or within the earth's interior yeah sure uh, so since alam na natin kung ano yung earthquake and what causes the earthquake let's dive deep on our today's topic so right now we have three kinds of fault ito yung iba't ibang klase ng fault that is uh that is causing the earthquake or yung sudden movement ng um ng ating um, Earth's crust or yung mismong surface ng Earth natin. So, we have here um, normal fault, reverse fault, and strike slip fault. So, ito yung mga fault, um, they are classified according to the movement of two blocks. So, we have two blocks again. As I them earlier, we have two blocks that is colliding at each other or um, um, they they might or they might collide depending dun sa magiging movement nila dun papasok kung anong klase ng fault um, sila nakaklassify 
So we have here no comments. Angelica sabi niya, normal reverse and strike slip. So tama. So those are the three types of fault na meron tayo. Let's now proceed to our first one. So normal fault. So, sir, can you help me out with this um, normal fault? Ano yung insight na kapal dito? Sige sir, ano, uh, the normal fault is defined as a slip fault in which the block above the fault has moved downward relative to the block below. This type of faulting occurs in response to the two extensions. Occurs when the hanging wall moves down relatively to the foot wall. Okay, so basically, uh, the uh, picture, it, it shows the movement of the ground, the other parts of the ground, uh, move downward and the other one move uh, upward ano? uh, so inverse so the other one uh, goes up and then the other one goes down but uh, this fault has moved downward relatively to the to the block below so um, as I observe um, in some areas um, the uh, specifically yung West Valley Fault Line. Ano? Kung inyong uh, uh, papansinin, itong West Valley Fault Line is a kind of a normal fault wherein the other side uh, moves downward. And uh, kaya mapapansin natin that uh, over the time, uh, the region of the Marikina area were really going down. Ano? That is the movement. That's why uh, the normal fault, uh, Marikina West Valley Vault Line was described as a, no uh, as a normal fault. Ayan po, sir. Ayan niya, sir. No, mapapansin natin yun niya sa unti-unti paglubog ng Marikina. Whenever there is um, rain, rainfall, no? they, um, they experience um, flooding. No? Um, mas matinde yung flooding na experience sila compared to the other cities that is around the Marikina area. It is because, yun nga, sabi ni Sir, the West Valley Fault is um, a good example of a normal fault wherein some of the ground is slowly moving down some, uh, while the other one is, uh, yun nga, tumataas. So the next one, we have naman the reverse fault. So, reverse fault is a deep um, slip fault in which the upper block okay, above the fault plate moves up and over the lower block. This type of faulting is common in areas of compression. When the deep angle is shallow, a reverse fault is often described as a thrust fault. occurs when the hanging wall moves up or is thrust over the, the foot wall. So, compression is... Um, yun yung pag move wherein they move um where they move together no um close close to, um continuously moving uh forward towards each other so yun nga reverse fault kapag continuously um yung hanging wall tataas siya pag ganun as they move up nagigislip siya pataas na ganun no so, ito yung um, reverse. Kumpara naman dun sa, sa naon natin na, na normal fault. We're in, baligtad naman siya. Okay? So, kaya nga siya tinawag na um, reverse fault. So, meron nga bang alam sir na example of this uh, reverse fault around the Philippine, um, Philippine plate? Um, Ayan. So, personally, I, I, I don't have uh, the specific examples. Ano, but, um, in some uh, regions where where there are uh, the events of uh, having uh, what we call this um, yun sa mga cliffs ano, having some cliffs and uh, doon sa mga regions with, with uh, uh, specifically with yung creations of bumps along the fault line um Kasi familiar tayo that the fault uh, the fault line is in a kind of normal fault line wherein 
uh, there's a region where in uh, it goes down ano downward but uh, there are regions or there are areas where in uh, the movement of the ground as it is described here in reverse fault were moving towards each other nagbungguan sila so sa iba nga ang ang description nito if uh, some of our learners recall um if you place two two uh, books ano meron kang dalawang libro and then you push together those uh, two books uh, let let me share it to our uh, learners right now ano like this one ano Ayan, so we have here, I have here a uh, book and then uh, this one is a notebook. So if we're going to uh, push them together, so it will create a bump in between. So uh, it will create a bump. So I don't know specifically where we have here locally, but um, generally, if we uh, had, based on their observation, if we had uh, that bump, uh in between those fault fault uh it is said that prob probably it has a reverse reverse type of fault okay so uh also known as a dip slip fault ano? in which upper block or above fault plane moves and the uh, other the other one is uh moving lower okay so that's what i would share sir ayan yung mga learners na yun, baka alam nila no meron ba kayong alam na lugar na ganyan. Kindly uh, put it on our comment section. Ayan, ang dami po nating pa rin nanonood. We have 104 learners. Ayan, from may, maybe some of them are from ODL and also some of them are from uh, modular distance learner learners natin. Ayan, sir. Yeah, salam, maraming salamat, sir. So most of this um, reverse fault, no, makikita natin yung examples nila yun nga, sabi nyo, sir, there are bumps. So, most of the time, they form yung mga ridges, yung mga, um, yung mga small bumps that occurs. Sometimes, marami, mara, karamihan nito ay nasa ocean. So, since we, we are the kapalibot nga sa, tayo sa Pacific Ring of Fire, so, yung oceans doon, some of them, maraming ridges. So, ang cause, si reverse fault, or yung earthquake na dulot ng, ano, ng reverse fault. So next one, we have the strike slip fault. So a fault on which two blocks slide past one another. So the San Andreas fault is an example of a right lateral fault. So ito naman, strike slip fault. So katulad ng example kanina, yung iba umangat, iba pumaba. This one, ang movement naman ng plate niya, pantay siya. Pwede hindi sila pantay, depende dun sa terrain ng isang lugar. So, this kind of fault, um, they move away from each other naman. Sliding. Okay po? Slide past one each other. So, magkakaroon na um, tagitan. For example, um, kunyari yung bahay mo, located dito sa gitna ng, ng fault na ito, ng example natin. So, if you are or if your house is uh, built, um, dito sa lupa na to, sa middle, so pwede siyang mahati sa gitna. That is why we are studying this one or this lesson. Because Alright, sir. Ayan, so we had some uh Okay, uh, difficulties on Sir Rick's uh, connection on our Zoom. Ayan, so, ayan, Anna, let us uh, continue. I think, uh, Sir Rick, uh, we just have, we just lost uh, Sir Rick's connections. Andyan pa po ba siya sa Zoom natin? Ayan, so, alright, so, pwede nating, uh, ituloy itong ating uh, topic na na ating pong topic today ayan in, wala yung si sir ano pero have you already watched the movie San Andreas Fault sino rito ang mga nakapanood na nung San Andreas Fault anyone please uh, share it on your uh, 
Ayan, ilagay ninyo sa inyong uh, chat box kung sino rito yung mga nakapanood na ng San Andreas Fault. Anyone? Pwede nyong isulat, itype sa ating... Uh, and uh, can you share uh, after watching that movie, what do you felt? Ano, ano yung naramdaman ninyo after watching that movie? Ano, ano ba? Meron bang mga natuwa? Meron bang naging uh, masaya? yung sa panonood nila ng San Andreas Fault. Anyone? Pwede po pwede yung i-comment ang inyong mga sagot sa ating uh, chat box right now. Ayan, para may pakita natin doon sa ating mga kasamang mga learners. Napanood yun na, mi po. Ayun, nakapanood na si sino yon Ang si ang nakasagot noon, mi po. Ayan si Vian Eros. Ayan, napanood niya na daw. And uh, Alright, so napanood na daw niya. Ayan, ang dami pa rito na nagsasagot sa ating uh, chat box. Uh, ang sabi niya rin dito ay doon po sa movie na yun, sabi ni Richwell, doon po sa movie na yun ay maraming nangyari like earthquakes and tsunamis. Ayan, meron pa ba? Ano pa ba yung mga nangyari doon? Base doon sa inyong... Uh, mga napanood, sad po, sabi ni Yushel, ang sabi niya, sad po, uh, sad po, at nakakatakot, ayan, diba, that's a kind of uh, uh, sliding fault, ano, uh, that's the last uh, slide that uh, one, that the um, our Sir Rick mentioned, ayan, so, meron pa rito, Doon po sa movie na yun ay marami nang... Ayun na nga, sinabi ko na pala kay Ritual. Aaron Cedric, sabi ni Aaron Cedric, following a mass a massive earthquake ray, uh, a rescue chopper pilot and his estranged wife. Ayan, find and save her. Ayan, so... Ayan, kasama na ulit natin si, si Sir uh, Rick right now. Kasama na, rin, kasama na po natin ulit siya sa sa ating pong uh, live right now and ayan so balikan natin nasa na yung ating um alright ano po ayun sir uh, sorry ayun. okay lang okay lang sir ayan so ayan balik na sa ating uh, live right now na ipres na itanong ko kung napanood na nila sir yung yung ano yung uh, movie na San Andreas Fault diba That's a very good movie and uh, that is the last um uh yung last na naitanong mo yung uh, yung type of uh, fault that we are uh, showing to them ayun ano yung at sa ating mga learners ayan sige po sir let's continue yes, sir um, yeah, sir um, San Andreas fault yun nga um, yes, great example of the latter or strike slip fault. So, yung strike slip fault nga, yun nga again, um, it is two blocks slide past one another. So, yung movie nga na yun, uh, um, yung movie ni Derak or Wayne Derak Johnson, is a great example no um, strike slip fault. So, yung strike slip fault, meron siya dalawang klase or there are two types of strike slip fault movement. So right, uh, the first one is the left lateral strike slip fault. So if you were to stand on the fault and look along its length, this is a type of slip fault where the left block moves toward you and the right block moves away. So yun niya, um, kapag ka ikaw ay nakaharap or dito, same lang naman sila, they are moving. They are moving away from each other, no? But the other one is going forward, right towards you. And yung left naman is the one that, uh, uh, sorry, um, yung left block yung move towards you, but and the other one is the one that is moving um, away from you. So, depend ito, no, sa, sa location mo and yung perspective mo doon sa isang klase ng fault. So, yun yung left lateral strike slip fault. So, kapag sinabi dating left, left um, for you to easily understand and for you to easily remember, when it is left, it moves towards you. Okay, the left one moves towards you. 
So that is um, a good way to remember this left lateral strike slip fall. And the other one is a right lateral strike slip fall. So if you were to stand on the ball and look along its length, this is a type of strike slip fall where the right block moves toward you and the left block moves away. So same, um, they um, slide past each other. Okay? But this one, yung right lateral slip fall natin, yung right naman, yung nagmumove towards you. So for it easily understand again, the, la the left lateral strike slip fall, the left block move towards you. And when we say right lateral strike slip fall, the right block move towards you and the left block moves away. So that is um, a good way to remember the two types of the strike slip ball. How about you, sir? Do you have any suggestion for them to easily um, remember this one? Yeah, sir Rick already gave us uh, the uh, best Okay, best way to remember uh, the uh, difference between the right and the left uh, lateral lateral uh, slip fall. Okay, sir. Ayan, um, salamat, sir. And uh, I hope you were able to grasp all the information that was given to you uh, today. And for us to easily check, or for us to check right now, if you are really, uh, you were able to learn the things that we were, that um, we talked about today, let's have a simple game. This game is called the Thumbs Up or Thumbs Down. So sir, ano kaya ang maging instruction natin dito and uh, how will the students answer using our comment, our comments on Facebook? Okay, so we're going to, to uh, you're going to write it on your or select an, uh, an icon of thumbs up and thumbs down if thumbs down if thumbs up if the the statement is correct or true and thumbs down if the statement is false. Okay, so you place it on uh, on a comment box or uh, your answer, ano? So, sige nga, tingnan natin kung naunawaan na. Pwede ba heart sign doon sa ating mga learners na na, na gets na nila, no? Ilalagay na na yun, uh, Charles Cedric Duerme. Uh, just uh, comment the uh, two. Two uh, hand signal. Ayan. So, we have the thumbs up and thumbs down. Okay, kindly heart if you already understand the instruction. And, iintayin na natin ang mga sagot. Ayan, narami na, sir. Ang dami nang uh, naintindihan na nila. Okay, ready na sila. Are you ready? Ayan. So, let's have your heart sign. Kung kayo ay ready na sa ating uh, uh, game ngayon. Thumbs up and thumbs down game. So, pwede ba i-heart sign nyo na? Ayan. Ang dami na, sir. Ang dami na nating nag-heart sign. So, let's have uh, the first uh, statement, sir. Go ahead. My first statement is this. For one, earthquake is a planned event that happens regularly. No, just like birthdays, it is a planned event or it happens with workers in a regular basis. So, ano kaya ang earthquake? Is it a regular or planned event? We look forward seeing this one. Or, is okay. something that happens Ayan, sige, intayin natin yung mga sagot. Ayan, okay, marami na nagsasagot. Si Jan Magana, thumbs down. Charles Cedric, thumbs down. Mikaela Iskandar, thumbs down. Si Christian Joel Hart, ayan, medyo naka, nahuli pa siya. <laughs> Valerie Nicole, thumbs down. Si Lea May, thumbs down. Ayan, ang dami na uh, nag-write ng thumbs down, sir. I think everyone uh, just comment uh, thumbs down. Is that thumbs down, the correct answer, or thumbs up? Let's check, sir. Uh, and the answer is... Alright. Our Ay, learners are ayan. correct. It's thumbs down. Thumbs down. Let's go now. Or let's proceed to our second. Okay. Check natin. Sabi ni Mark Jemiel Saad, Sir, paano mag-ganyan? Mag um, 
check mo yung icon mo doon sa chat box. Um, hanapin mo yung um, emoticon sign. And then, you can look for thumbs down doon. So, for our second item, let's have earthquake, the result of sudden movement along faults within the earth. Meron ka ba ng nakikita, sir? Sasagot? And the answer is thumbs up. It is a fact or factual. This one is the definition of an earthquake. Thumbs up. Okay. Right. Next, there are three types of faults, namely normal, reverse, and strike strip. A strike slip fault. Is it a thumbs up? Or a thumbs down. Alright, tignan na natin kung ano ang mga sagot nila. Kindi, uh, chariot owner, number 3, number 3. Ayan, number 3. Ayan. Ayan, si, nawala yung audio kanina. Ayan, number 3, we have Ritual. Okay, ayan, nauna talaga si Ritual, ano, Jetline. Thumbs up, ayan. Thumbs up si Jetline, si Zyrish, si Charles, si Jan. Si Nicandor, ayan si Elijah, Sander, puro thumbs up. Ayan, puro thumbs up yung kanilang sagot, sir. Puro thumbs up. Is it thumbs up? And it is indeed thumbs up. Alright. So, Galing, no? Very good. Uh, Kuha na talaga nila at mukhang naunawaan talaga nila ang lesson natin, sir. Check natin dito sa pangatlo. The reason behind an earthquake is still a mystery. Ayan. Is it Reason really behind a an earthquake mystery? is still a mystery. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Oh, kindly answer your or write your answer on our chat box. Ayan. Sabi ni Andre Laneta, mga gaya-gaya daw. Gaya -gaya it's daw. Sasagot. Number four na tayo, ha? Number four. Uh, number four, thumbs down. Number si Marriott, sabi niya, thumbs up. Si Nicandor, sabi niya, thumbs down. Ryan Carlo de la Cruz, thumbs down. Angelica de la Cruz, thumbs down. Down. Ayan. Thumbs down. Meron nag-thumbs up eh. Pero sige. Yung iba. Ayun. Ang daming thumbs out ni Nicandor. Nic okay. Nicandro. Ano? Ayun. Thumbs up si uh, Earl Jeffrey. Si Jan Magana. Thumbs down. Okay. Marami Ito nagsagot ng thumbs ngayon, down, sir. sir. No? Pero mga ilang ilan meron nagsagot na thumbs up. Let's yes. check. Okay. okay, earthquake the is, is thumbs, down. thumbs down. Why, sir? Why it is thumbs down? Because earthquake, or yung reason behind, is not a mystery. It was discussed earlier because of the fault that is slowly moving, or the one that suddenly moves, which is the, um, which causes the earthquake. So you want? Yeah, and thank Let's you, move sir. Now. So number five, and which is the last one. Without faults, earthquake will not occur. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, tignan nga natin. Without, without earthquake, faults, or oh, without faults, earthquake will not. Number five, number five na tayo. Ayan, sino una makasagotin? Si Aaron, Cedric, sabi niya thumbs up. Si Charles, thumbs down. Ito, nahahati na sila. Hindi na nila alam. Si Jet Lin, thumbs up naman sila. Ayan. Ni Candor. Ni Candro, thumbs down. Si Angelica, thumbs down. Si Zyrish, thumbs up. Mavi, thumbs up. Irish, thumbs up. Si Crystal, Kate, thumbs up. Ayan. Sunod-sunod na. Puro thumbs up na. Tingnan nga natin, sir. What is the correct answer here? And the answer is... Thumbs up. Thumbs Without faults, earthquake will not occur. So, kasi nga, walang gagalaw na um, the faults or yung continents or yung plates natin, hindi yung plato, no? Ito yung 
plates na mer or kinakatiyuan ng earth surface natin or yung pinamumuhayan natin. This one or earthquake will not occur. Alright, ayan. Ano, ang gagaling ng mga learners natin. Ano, marami sa kanila nakakuha ng perfect score. Who got the perfect score? Ano, kindly chat it your, ans your scores ano, doon sa Anis lang tayo. Ayan, yung mga scores ninyo. Uh, just write on our comment section. I got 5, I got 4, 3, 2, or 1 scores. Ayan. So, ito si Rick. Ah, si Sir Rick, 5 over 5. Ayan, si Aaron, 5 over 5. Ayan, very good. So, si Nicandro, we have 4 over 5. Honest, ayan. And si Jan Magana, we have 5 over 5. Charles, 4 over 5. I think most of them got got almost perfect score. ano? Uh, very good talaga. And I know marami kayong natutunan sa ating lesson for today. Sir? Yes, uh, napakutu. Totoo ang napakagaling ng mga batang televisions, no? And to um, conclude, um, let's have our synthesis. So, this is the one that we discussed today. Earthquake is the movement of fault as lip one another. Um, the next one is fog is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rock. How about the last one, sir? Okay. The last one, sir. The last one, I'm sorry. There are, and remember that there are three types of fault. Namely, the normal fault, the reverse fault, and the strict slip fault. Um, learners, again, um, we thank you for your today's um, participation. And we hope that um, you were able to learn something today. at ng ating mga muli maraming maraming salamat sa ating mga learners na nanood at nakibahagi sa atin sa ating live teaching sa pamamagitan ng Project Live Learner Learner Intervention through Virtual Engagement. Maraming maraming salamat Sir Rick. Maraming salamat sa lahat ng ating mga grade 8 learners na nakibahagi at patuloy tayong magsubaybay sa mga susunod pa ng mga live teachings sa iba't ibang asignatura. Maraming maraming salamat at patuloy nating subaybayan ang ating FB page, Francisco P. Felix Memorial National High School and ang ating YouTube channel na Felixians TV. Maraming maraming salamat, maraming salamat, Sir Rick. At paalam sa inyo lahat. Paalam. Ayan po. Paalam po. Paalam po.